Hey, it's Shoot from the Hip. Um, I just want to say if you clicked on this video and you're watching it right now, drop a like or drop a dislike. I want to know if like these like five, ten views that I'm actually getting on my first videos are like real views or they're like they're bots or whatever. So drop a comment, drop some sort of engagement so I know you're there. Anyway, let's jump right into it. Uh, Crystal Palace Burnley. I found it to be a great match to watch. Um, I'm a bit of a Burnley fan, so I'm biased in that fact. But um, 3-0. When did Burnley score three goals? Um, let's jump right into the goals. So Goodmanson scores in the fifth minute. Um, there's a couple things I want to break down. The first one being, um, if you watch back the highlights and see actually what happens, you have McNeil, who plays as a left mid. That's his position. McNeil has the ball on the left-hand side. He dribbles inwards, and this happened a lot throughout the match. I saw the wingers, or I wouldn't even really call them wingers in Burnley's case, say right and left midfield to be more specific. But I found that they played um, on the inside, which was really smart, and they let their uh, fullbacks get forward and cross the ball into the box, which is how the first goal happened. Um, another thing to note, or I'll note it later, so that's what happened. McNeil comes inside, plays in um, Peters, who comes down the left side, whips in a great cross. Um, Goodmanson kind of bundles around in the box. Goodmanson gets the ball, and then it's like almost like the Sala goal um, against Leicester. Excuse me. Um, yeah, so kind of funny there because if you watch the games in chronological order like I do, the first goal was the Liverpool goal where Salah scored like that. And then the first goal in the next game, the next Premier League game chronologically, Goodmanson scores from like the exact same area with his left foot. Just a weird thing to note. Um, second goal, Rodriguez from a corner kick. McNeil again plays a part. Excellent corner kick, excellent delivery. And by the way, excellent player. Um, he's kind of dropped off in my opinion. I don't know how... How deeply you know my audience follows the match but McNeil played when he burst onto the scene maybe about two years ago I want to say he was a very silky um, you know played played with freedom like a typical left left winger right left mid kind of player played with freedom skills you know got in there scored 1v1s um, the last season and this season we've seen a much more mature McNeil you know, a team player, um, a player with an engine. And I'd say that's about all the Burnley players, probably. Um, that's probably why they have so many injuries. <laughs> um, anyway, moving on from that, Rodriguez scores from the corner. Um, surprising and not surprising, right? Burnley, they're known for their set pieces. They're known, known to be a tough physical team. But Crystal Palace is back line, at least. They're known to be a tough physical team as well. Um, moving on to the third goal, and obviously, amazing goal. This is what I'm going to title my video about. Matthew Loden. What a finish. Unbelievable goal. This guy only scores good goals. Apparently, this was his first goal in eight years. Um, I think it was worth the wait. <laughs> and, yeah, this the same thing happened again here. Um, the right mid, Gudmundsen, I think he was more on the inside. Loden started with the ball took it straight down the line and, you know, dribbled past a few players, played it inside, right, inside, and then uh, Jay Rodriguez, chip ball, it was almost like a FIFA goal, incredible volley, incredible goal, um, probably the best, best part of the game. Um, other points, oh, and then what, this is what I wanted to elaborate on. So it's quite interesting if the game plan it seemed for Burnley was obviously, you know, stay tight, stay organized in the back, um, don't play too risky, um, as in like gambling with people forward. But that thing was reoccurring. Wingers played more um, centrally and the full backs took that space. And why that worked is because Eze and Ayu they're not playing as right and left mids. They're playing more as like the fr like almost two number 10s. And I know they have more uh, defensive responsibility than that, but that's how they play. That's the type of players they are. 
Ayu is not a defender, Eze is not a defender, and it was left for the two central midfielders, Milivojevic and Riedewald, don't even know how to say the guy's name, who also, by the way, good player, burst onto the scene um, recently, looks, looks like a good player, but it was them and the fullbacks were having to do all the defending, and that's why <laughs> they were destroyed today. Um, another thing to note, Crystal Palace, interesting team, interesting team. I like it, and it's kind of interesting to see Roy Hodgson make this team, because you'd think Roy Hodgson, one of the oldest managers around, period, um, would have kind of more like a team like Sean Dyche, um, but no, he has a whole bunch of technically good players, technically brilliant players, and it's just not clicking, and I think it's not clicking you know, because I can't find a proper striker, but, you know, there's just something there. Um, other things to note, Zaha's out, and Crystal Palace practically can't win without him. Um, the points gap is pretty important here. Um, I believe it was said um, Burnley ha now have a game in hand, and they're three points behind Crystal Palace, so this was a big match there. Also, it's kind of a bit of a rivalry match in a way. I know not technically, but they're kind of in the same area, that same London area. Um, and then, you know, to end the video, I'd say Burnley, two steps forward, but two injured players as well. Um, ben Mee going off of a, didn't look like a terribly nasty injury. It was a nasty reaction to it. Looks like he almost got knocked out by it. Um, apparently he was fine afterwards, so hopefully he'll be back. He's fit. He's a strong guy. Um, and then it was a shame. Peters, who had an excellent game, gets injured. So Phil Bardsley comes on. And uh, is it me or does Phil Bardsley look like healthier or something? His hair looks, maybe it was because I saw Townsend, I, the Bosley fit going on. When I saw Bardsley, uh, I mean Townsend had the Bosley thing going on. Um, but when I saw um, when I saw Bardsley, I'm like, his hair looks a wee bit thicker or something. So I don't know if it's maybe all the time on the bench or whatever he's doing his hair now, but um, I think I'll leave it there, guys. Um, let me know what you think. Um, if you like the content, subscribe, throw on that notification bell. I'm going to keep these things coming. Um, comment, let me know you're there, and I'll see you next video.